So it's been about a week and a half since we made our last video. And the last video was the uh, restorations over the last 10 months. And in that video I said I had a, a red line that I really wanted to restore, that I'd been looking for. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know it is the Redline Custom Camaro. Been looking for one of these for a while. This one I ended up paying $30 for, which was more than I wanted, but less than most of them around, especially with a working hood and uh, it's all complete. It's in rough shape, not the worst that we've done, but uh, we'll find out more once we strip it. Now this is April 11th, 2018, so 12.45 p.m. I'm actually off of work right now, and this is the reason why I haven't started this, because I started getting sick last week, and then I went to the doctor on Monday and found out I had strep throat for the first time ever. And being that I'm 43 years old, I'm pretty thankful that I've never had strep throat until now, so I don't uh, wish it on anybody. I guess there's maybe different levels. They said I had it pretty bad. Um, it was pretty evident. My temperature has been hovering around 101, so that's kind of what makes me tired. And the fact that the antibiotics and steroids, uh, the steroids really, taking them before for a sinus infection, they, they do wonders for me as far as healing me up quick, but uh, I don't feel good on them. They uh, make me ache all over. Some people, they get energy, they get hungry. It's the exact opposite with me. I don't want to eat and I just ache. Uh, my legs hurt, my arms hurt, everything hurts. But it's, it's worth it uh, to get rid of this. And uh, the sore throat's almost all the way gone. Uh, the raspy voice is probably not due to the strep. It's more likely that I haven't really been talking at all um, for work or anything like that. I've just kind of just taken it easy. I've never, usually when I take a day off of work, I still am working from home. But uh, this time I'm not really doing anything. I did a couple hours yesterday, about an hour or so today. But so three hours in the last three days at work is very unlike me. You would think I would be used to sickness because I do work in dental offices every day. My grandson goes to daycare every day and my daughter is a RN. And she goes to the hospital every day. So there's a lot of uh, germs floating around in this household. But uh, it got me this time. So hopefully this will be the one and only time I have it. And back to the casting, again, it was about $30. I think it was $32 shipped. Not the cheapest that I've found, but as of lately, it's the cheapest I've found with uh, complete with the hood, opening hood. The cowling right here seems to be missing on a lot of them. You can see it's bent a little bit on this one. So we are going to have to do a little bit of, of massaging with that. Maybe not the magic camera, I don't know. But, uh, a lot of them that'll be missing because they've cranked the hood and they've broken that. So I was very pleased to find one complete. Uh, it's in bad shape, but not horrible. Because I that cowling, and you would have to remanufacture that, or you know, with some JB Weld, or or just do without. And I found a lot of them. You know, oh, I was getting ready to buy it. It's you know, twenty bucks or twenty five dollars, and look at the pictures. Like, oh, well, that part's missing. That's no good. It does have a crack in the windshield. We uh, we do, uh, I don't know if it's a crack or a scratch, I should say, but I do have a replacement windshield. So we'll show you that, um, and we'll also show you our latest receipt from the Redline shop. And I don't really push the Redline shop. Um, I've heard good and bad things about them. It's just where I happen to get the Spectra Flame paint, and I do like their, their wheels better as far as their reproduction red line wheels I do like them quite a bit better so I'm not promoting them in any way shape or form if you've got a better place to get it please let me know um, I've complained about their shipping times now this latest order I ordered it on I think a Monday and got it on a Wednesday so it was pretty fast so I don't know maybe he watches the channel and heard me complain I don't know uh, I don't know anything about him really I just know that uh, I do like his paint and I do like his wheels. I don't like paying for any of it because it's expensive. And we'll show you the receipt that we we ordered quite a bit this last time. And I'll be sure to get that uh, Redline Shop receipt and show you at the end. But I wanted to touch on something that uh, I actually touched on last video. That is the Velocity Channel. I mentioned that I'm going to have a video on there. And I am. But I want to give you kind of an update on the series and times and dates and all that good stuff. So, uh, as mentioned, it's... Velocity channel. It's going to be called Velocity Dispatch, the series. It's uh, 10 creators, I believe. I 
I'm getting this all from, this is from way back when I was contacted, so I don't remember everything, but pretty sure it's 10 creators. I think they're all from YouTube. Not all, maybe most of them are. And uh, each one of them has it in a part. That's where they get the 10 parts. Now, for mine, and I'm sure the same for everybody else, I was given no script. I was given no direction now I was offered you know if you need any direction let us know but they just let me roll with it and I don't think they edited anything or anything like that I'm not sure but I came up with everything on there which is a big challenge for me because I'm not really uh, I know I talk on camera here but I'm not uh, creative really and I don't like speaking a whole lot even though I do on camera I uh, kind of a recluse a little bit besides with my family and my co-workers and stuff not a whole lot uh, not a whole lot of talking goes on really around here but so it was a big challenge for me and like I said I don't believe that they did any editing because I had to make it a, an exact length now I did go back and watch it because I have the original file I had to send to them and I wish I would have I spent enough time on it, but I wish I would have had the uh, the camera more honed in like I do now, uh, because some of the shots weren't exactly focused the way they should have been, and I didn't realize that because again I was watching on a small screen. I was still getting the, used to this camera. I wish I would have redone some of that before I sent it off, or or known. I didn't know until I I really really watched it again, and I'm like, oh, well that's not focus. Well, that's not in focus and there's a few scenes that aren't in great focus now that I've learned this camera uh, it would have been fine but I should have used my old camera for it and then just started using the camera after it's kind of one of the reasons why I got the camera was for that video I'm like oh, this is perfect time I'll get a new camera and we'll we'll shoot with the new camera it'll be awesome well I thought it was but if you've watched the earlier videos you know that it definitely wasn't. There was a lot of scenes that uh, weren't entirely in focus. I think it'll do okay for the most part, but yeah, so be it. So my first uh, prime time, you know, maybe a failure. I don't know. But anyway, so it's 10 creators, and it actually starts off, it kicks off next Friday, April 20th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So prime spot. Going to be on Velocity Channel. Going to be pretty awesome. Now, my episode will air May 4th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, which is awesome. Uh, it's my, uh, my mother's birthday. Uh, a lot of you, most of you don't know me, but my mother passed away when I was 24. So the fact that it's airing on her birthday is an awesome, awesome thing for me. It just means the world. I don't know how that happened, but uh, it, it really... that. Whether it fails or not, I mean, it's going to be on prime time. It's not going to fail, I should say, but it's already succeeded in my eyes. But with the fact that it's being on my mom's birthday, that's just icing on the cake. It's freaking awesome. So be sure to check out the whole series, but especially check out mine. May 4th, 9.30 p.m. Eastern on Velocity Channel. Now, I don't even have Velocity Channel right now because I'm not a, uh, I'm a, a cable cutter. I've been for like six years or so now but I will find a way to watch it and actually I think the Motor Trend app may be getting velocity soon because I think it was sold to them I'm not sure but anyway so be sure to check out the whole series starts next Friday April 20th I definitely want to watch it all so I'm gonna do whatever I can to get velocity uh, going in the house here and watch this one for sure not going to be this car. I think I've already showed you the car. Yeah, we did in the last video. We could here was the main attraction of that video. Now, throughout the video that you see on Velocity is going to be, uh, you know, how to do custom axles. Some other things are sprinkled throughout there, and I've, they're actually snippets, not all of it, but some of them are snippets of other videos I've done. So, again, going back to the camera, some of it was the old camera, some of it was a new. So, you may see some lighting changes and things of that nature in that video but for me it was probably the best video overall that I've ever done I wish I could do them all like that but it did take a long time it's a it's a voiceover I don't show my face never ever show my face but Wills and Thangs is actually made it to prime time which is pretty darn cool for somebody that wasn't looking to get into prime time at all it uh, it's pretty awesome also wanted to give a quick mention uh, maybe doing a podcast soon 
I'll announce the details of that once we get them worked out. It uh, actually just got an email from from the person, and uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So I've never been on a podcast. I am pretty boring, but uh, I think it'll be fun. So here we are with the red line shop receipt. Now I've covered up the top portion because it's got my information on there. But you can see what we ordered here. First thing is the custom Camaro glass, Hong Kong, which is the blue. This is the blue. And here's the windshield you get right here. It comes flat. I'm not sure if that's normal. But uh, I've never ordered a windshield from them. But you can easily bend it back. But it was flat as a board. $8.95. So not too bad. Red line wheel bearing. Now, I usually get a lot of the wheels I've been getting off eBay. But I wanted to get the better wheels for this. So I got... Two medium, two small, which is what this takes. These are for Hong Kong. Redline wheel bearing in Hong Kong. $6.95. Not too bad. A lot cheaper on eBay, though. I can get, like, a pack of, I forget how many, for $10. Bucks. Now, the paints. Now, these paints are normally $6.95 each, but I got a 10-pack here. So, with $59.95, here are all the colors. And we'll go over those in a minute. So, you got $75.85. 1095 shipping, so 86.80 for 10 things of paint, some wheels, and a windshield. So it's not exactly cheap through them. But I do love their paint. I do like their wheels. I'm not sure about the windshield yet, so we'll find out. But the paints I got, I got quite a bit. Again, 10. I got antifreeze, which I don't know what we're going to use that on, but it'll be pretty sweet. We got lime, which we got to find it here. Got our lime. Then we just got regular green, which I ran out of. We got olive. So I've never had the olive, lime, or antifreeze. I've never used those before. We got aqua, which I've never had either. Right here. And we've got ice blue. I've never had that. Most of these I've never had. Here's our ice blue. Then we've got uh, just blue. <laughs> Shocker, I'm out of blue. Now, I know you guys hate seeing blue, but I'm going to make this the original color, which is blue. So, unfortunately, the next restoration is going to be blue again. I want to make that original. Purple, which I've used before, but I'm out of. And then we got root beer, which will be pretty cool. I don't know when I'm going to put that on. And then I got some more hardener. I already have some, but I didn't want to run out because I've, I've done that before. So, this is what you get for basically 90 bucks. Love the paints, love the wheels. These paints, they say, I forget how many. Um, I thought he said you could do six cars with each. That's entirely not true unless you're just dusting them, which I don't want to do. Uh, I, I usually put three, at least three coats on or so. Of course, it depends on how the depth you want as well, but like uh, like the Firebird here. I mean, this is almost flawless. Probably looks way better than it did originally. And you can see, I mean, this blue is obviously faded, but this might be more of an ice blue, actually. Maybe we will use a different blue. Might have to test out and see. But anyway, this was like three or four coats. I forget how many, but so more like not half a bottle, but pretty close. So a recap, look out for this. We're going to start this probably this weekend, maybe even today. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I think my grandson's going to be at his dad's this weekend. So they give me a chance to, to do that and do some things in the garage. So hopefully we'll get to start on that. Be sure to check out Velocity Dispatch. It's going to be awesome. And if you're looking for paints, I'm not saying check out the Red Line Shop, but more importantly, let me know where you're getting your Spectraflame paints from if you are, if there's another source out there. Uh, I mean, I'd love to be sponsored by Red Line Shop, but I think it's a small-time deal uh, just from the name that it comes from It uh, when you PayPal. So 
I don't expect the guy to give anything away. It'd be awesome because I do use a lot of his products. I mean, I've probably spent $400 there over the past year, I would say. Maybe. Maybe not that much. But uh, maybe 300 Who knows? But uh, he makes good paint. He makes good wheels or wherever he's getting them from. We'll let you know on this, on that restoration, because it does have a chip or a crack right in the middle front. We'll try to restore the original one first. But I wanted to get this as a backup. And that's it. Feel free to post any question or comments below. Subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And also, I may be on a pow uh, 